I will be forever thankful to people who give me back my name. Step by step, they asked me about my past, about my project, about my family. Coming a person, finally, when you have a permit of stay, in that moment you realize that the travel did not finish. And you start again another journey, the journey of the life in Italy or wherever you are. You think that if you survive it in Sahara, in Libya, in Mediterranean Sea, and also Italian refugees come, so you could survive even in Rome or other cities in Italy. You tell yourself because you know that the journey was not finished and you start another journey in the life. Living in Rome, it is not easy, but I thank God who gave me the ability to find a job, to find good friends, to make new family. It's really very important. When you arrive in a new country, you think a lot of things, not only the family or the country or the culture, also the place where you are. You think what you receive it, how you give it back, not only to the people who are searching their identity or new life, but also to people who really need what mean who really need to know what really mean all this. In Roma, there is an association called Archivio Memoria Migranti, an archive of memory migranti. The archive is work with migrants, Italians, and uh, the work of the archive is give us out through a group of researchers, directors, social workers, migrants. Why we need to have archive of memory migrant? Because it's really very important to show and share the history of the people who are coming to Europe. The people who are need to get new life. The archive gave me the tools to tell through all this, through images, to tell my story, to find another story, to give back names from numbers. Especially when we see the television or the mass media, we think the numbers, the people who are coming in Europe or in Italy, and we forgot about their life about their past, about their family. We forgot the names. But the problem, it is not the numbers or the names. The problem is the way that the numbers give importance to the progressive system. Because when we hear thousand or hundred people who are coming in Europe, we think that all of Africa are coming to TV Europe or in America, but it's not true. I'm here to share not only my experience today with you, the experience with those who came with me in 2008. Now we are 2018, and I remember, and I need to share here with you today, one of the social workers, and she sent a letter for her student to encourage. She wrote, Dear student, I'm not Italian government. I'm not the Questura di Roma, the police office. I'm not the office of recognition. I'm your teacher. Come back to the school to learn the language. I tell you why. It was January 2009 when I went to the Questura, the police office of Roma, of Rome, they give me another appointment to come back and receive my permit of stay. I was angry and I said, I don't want to go anymore to Italian school. 
But my teacher saved me. Because she sent me that letter to say me, it's very important for you to learn the key of your future. So, if you are angry for the Italian system or European system, please go back to the school. Because all we need to be heard and seen as a people, not as a number is. Because if we learn today the language of the country that we are, we can use to ask not only our right, but also to promote the integration, to help the others. Those are really in difficult. I need to tell you something about the work that I'm doing with the Archive of Memory Migrants. The Archive asked me in 2012, July, if I'm feeling good to go back in Lampedusa as a free man, as a member of the Lampedusa in Film Festival jury. It was a wonderful idea. And I said, yes, I'm feeling good, and I like it to go back in Lampedusa as a free man. When I was in the island of Lampedusa, I started to read my diary. This was the title of my diary, to whom it my concern. Because when I was in my trip, I saved it and closed it with a plastic bag with a scotch tape to save my memory. That is why I call to whom it my concern, to give it everyone who will receive this diary because I had with me the certificate, photo family, and ID card, like the card of Somali Journalists Network, Sujon, and later become National Union of Somali Journalists, no such. It was 2008, and that moment, people say we are really emergency because in Italy arriving many people. But returning to Lampedusa after years, remembering the place where we arrived, and uh, working with the search of the lost memories, it was something really powerful. Even for me, to give back other names, and instead the numbers. When we come here, what will happen? We know that many of us, they really think that it's so hard to make it. I know it is hard, but can be possible, we can do, we can share our experience. And what I need today here with you to share not only my story or my experience, also to think how we can promote the integration, how we can give our part, how we can be visible, not invisible. I remember one of the social workers, Valentina, of her first day of the work, they asked her where she could start. She said, I start my work with migrants, listening to people's need. So it's really very important to listen to people, to understand what we really need. And after you can work better, you can know the history of the people, you can help better. Mohamed Ba is an actor from Senegal. Few weeks ago, he wrote, we are not dangerous, but we are in danger. You know why? Because more than 60 million people today have been displaced their homeland because of civil war, because of famine or persecution. That is why people leave their own home they leave their family to find better life. For example, even the animals, they find the water. When there is a famine, they really go where there is water. And also the human being is so. When there is a difficult civil war, you need to go new place to make new home, to help the others. Even in Italy, if arriving of people is less than 81% today, but we have seen in the last five months 
anti-refugee sentiment. I think to give our voice and to show who really promote the anti-refugee sentiment, what we are doing as a social workers, what we are doing as a migrants or refugees, what we are doing as a people. Because if we remain our home and say, okay, you are doing this work and you don't need to know what's happening in Rome or Milan or other places, it's something wrong. And I think in some way we have to participate to create a better world. I'm sure we can do it together. And I don't know if everyone think how he proved, how he improved and create a better world. We are all guests in this world. And one day we will leave. We leave money, we leave home, we leave politics, we leave career, we leave everything. That is why we need to create a better world before leaving the world. Thank you.